Happy rosy coloured glasses my dear friends. Here I am in the peace of a beautiful park and today's mantra is I am always in the right place at the right time. I am always in the right place at the right time and I am divine timing. I am divine timing. Just take that on board and if it feels like you are struggling at the moment with something that really does not feel like it is divine and it does not feel like you're in the right place at the right time and you are really suffering, remember that the biggest cause of suffering is resistance to what is happening now. So the challenge is say yes to what is happening now. Say yes and choose peace. So today this card literally flew out of the deck. We have Paramahansa Yogananda, choose peace. This chap was the author of the autobiography of a yogi and he is known, I'm going to read out what, what it says here, he is known uh, to emphasize the oneness of all spiritual and religious paths and focus upon developing a deep love and connection with God or source. So what this one means is listen to your heart's truth. There is always a peaceful alternative to conflict. Your peacefulness elevates your energy and helps you to manifest your desires. Meditate and do yoga as a way of attaining inner peace. I'm going to add to that. If you've got a whole load of anger, frustration, whatever's going on inside of you, let it out! You've got to let it out. You don't need to turn on anyone, okay? You don't need to call anyone names, but you can shout, scream, stamp your feet, do whatever you need to. Shaking is really good for just releasing pent-up energy and come back to choosing peace. Today's mudra is Kundalini mudra. So left finger, index finger up, right fingers around and then the right thumb holds the left index finger tip and this you hold as low down as you can to your pelvis because this stimulates the sexual organs it's the kundalini energy that's the coiled serpent at the base of your spine that rises up to meet source and comes back down again so we are divine humans we are awakening to this truth and what this mudra does is it connects the individual consciousness with the cosmic consciousness so it allows you to align with I am divine timing and I am always in the right place at the right time. Do you remember the game snakes and ladders? Well that's the game of life. There are going to be opportunities that take us up to great new places and there are going to be challenges that feel like we're sliding backwards and we're going back to places that we have been before and we don't want to go again. Tragedies affect us all. There is a whole load of unknowns which are a part of life and it's about us saying yes to what is happening, surrendering the frustration of resisting what is happening, because that's what causes us the misery, and looking for the silver lining. Say yes, look for the silver lining, what good can come of this, and set your intention every morning. You do this every morning for a few breaths, 11 breaths, say the mantra three times, and then go about your day. Now, um, I really want to offer to you this idea that struggle is the cause of suffering because it's us resisting what is going on in this moment and if you are ready to let go of your internal resistance if you are ready to let go of the um, brittle thoughts beliefs attitudes that hold you prisoner to where you are then please get in touch because I have a wonderful program just for you and it's called the fearless empowered and free to be me program it is truly transformational 14 weeks to change your life and then you know how to maintain it and it's an offer to you just get in touch with me and I'll book you in for a breakthrough call I've got a couple of spaces coming up so I'm ready to take on two new clients if that's going to be you give me a shout and we can actually work out how to make the program work for you in the meantime don't resist the struggle okay don't resist the the frustration that's going on in your life say yes to it soften your body to it and I'm not saying this lightly because I thought the divine timing for this actual video was this morning, but the universe had other ideas and I've got to be in this lovely place now. And also, you know, when you are observing either yourself struggling or suffering or other people doing that, the most important thing is to come back to yourself, love yourself, choose peace. What good can I do here? And often it's just breathing deeply and choosing to ground down into trust, into earth, into source, and to ask for a miracle, which I've talked about before. I wish you a beautiful week. I am always in the right place at the right time. I am divine timing. Have a beautiful week. Namaste.